Uh, your grandson, Shakur Stevenson, like you said, had a hand injury. Uh, he's supposed to fight Joe Cordina, but now he's going into a fight straight with William Zapata. What's your thoughts on that fight? Well, everybody's going to be surprised, but I'm going to tell you like this here. Who's going to his ass? You know, I've watched a few of his fights, you know, and I looked at him, you know, and I see a whole lot of windows and doors open in this game, you know, and I think it's going to be the perfect time and he was the right opponent for his point. You know, he, a whole lot of things that I see, you know, he punches a lot, but he makes a horrible lot of mistakes when he do punch. We're looking to exploit all those things that we can take advantage of. And Shakur loves it because Shakur don't have to look for him. You know, everybody thinks Shakur don't hit all, they don't throw that much. But yo, I promise you this here fight, you're going to see the real Shakur. So, I mean, he's actually been, I can say it now, but we ain't want to know, but like, like seven of his last fights, he didn't fight with his hurt hands hurt. So now we got one healed and the other one's had the opportunity to heal too. He's done the surgery, so now he'll, he'll see the real support. What is a, a consistently uh, hurting your hands? What does that come from? Well, you see, now, you know, I'm an old school fighter, right? Back in the day, fighters used to always turn their punches over, right? Mm -hmm. So now you see a lot of them using the Mexican style. So the knuckles are not made to go this way. Okay, you have ligaments in here. So when the knuckles, these, the fingers start to go that way, hitting the bag and whatnot, it causes the injury to the ligaments in the hand. Mm -hmm. So all you young fighters over there, man, go back to the old school and start turning your punches over again. You avoid a lot of those hand injuries. Now, I guess this is giving him time to really, really work on his left hand. Yeah. So, yeah. do we see a Shakur that's like really sitting down on the shots? Oh, sitting down on the shots. You see, okay, like you know, a lot of people know boxing. You know, sitting down on your shots is, is not where all the power comes from. The power comes from your leg feet. You can sit down on your shots. It's the same thing as bringing your leg with you to the country. So, so you know, when you take the leverage. Okay, a lot of people don't realize it. Speed, leverage, and friction equal power. So, before them working on those things, the speed, the leverage, and the friction turn those punches over. So now, he's going to be back to his old self. You know what I mean? So, you get around a lot of people, you young people like to see what things really change things. So, now he's going to be back to his original self, and the world is going to see who he really is.